guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you as we fly here. And I call this the, the lace wing shrimp. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to put it together. The hook in the vise is a Partridge Patriot double in size 10 in black nickel. The thread I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in white. And I'm just going to use the thread in white simply because the body at the back here it's going to be an open mirage and I want that to hold its flavour if you like. Now I'm just going to run a couple of the middle of the white thread on, remove the waist tag. The tag and the ribbon the fly is going to be a chartreuse ultra wire. Just catch that in underneath. I'm just going to work my thread down until I'm sort of way in line or just slightly past the, the points of the hooks. Then we're going to come around with four turns of our chartreuse wire. On the last turn, bring it up and in between the, the two hooks. I'm just going to come around with a couple of turns, secure that in, and then we can just shimmy the wire, just bend and bring it away. Bring my thread back there into position. Now, before we tie in the tail, I'm going to put in some flash. And this is just the, the blue, right over the camera so you can see it, the blue mirror flash. You can, you can use whatever flash you have. You don't have to be running out the shops and ban all this stuff. Now, I'm just going to offer the two strands up to the hook. Around with a couple of turns, fold the excess flash over. Now at this point, I'm just going to come in and trim these. Just moisten the, the excess. Now I don't want them that length, so I'm just going to come in and just trim them the different lengths with tail. It's going to be a chartreuse lace wing. Now, if you're only tuning into the videos, a lace wing is the, the the female bird, the hen bird of the Bodger's hackle. Now I'm just gonna sorry, just digress there a bit. Just make your Christmas tree shape and your haggle. Fill that up to the hook with two turns, fold the tip back, bring your thread nice and tight back up against the the tip of the haggle. Now I'm just gonna Bring my thread up to the eye, just gives me a bit of room to work. Then we're just going to stroke these back. And do one turn in front of the other. Uh, I'm looking two turns of this. It's enough for me. Don't worry if you catch the hackles in on the ground. Just going to bring my thread back into position. Bring my hackle round. Then what I do is bring my thread up the same time and force the haggle down into the thread. Nice and tight. We'll come in and trim away the, the excess of the haggle. And then bring our thread up. Sort of way around about to the halfway mark. Now at this point, I'll just come in with my Trusty normal wisdom. Just any of the wee favours that have been just caught while we're winding it round, and just bring those out. Then we're going to come back in with our chartreuse wire. We're just going to catch this in underneath. Just work our thread back. Now, when you're working your thread back at this point, guys, if you can't, just bring your thread tight up against the haggle. Add on to it. Then we're going to come in with the length of our large open mirage tinsel. Just work our thread up tying that in. And then we're just going to come around with our open mirage with your leading edge leading first into the haggle and then just overlapping turns of the open mirage. Nice and tight. Fill that around with our thread. 
couple of tight turns will secure that in. Come up with our scissors and trim that away. Then we'll come up with our wire. And I'm making three turns on the open rash just to help protect it. Follow that around with our thread. Put a nice tight turns in here to secure in the open rash. Same again, just bend and break away the wire. Mid haggle, like that. The S wing in blue this time. So just drop back the, the fibers to reveal the tip. Run with a couple of turns, fold the tip back. Right. Tip broke off my hand, that's it there. But the haggle is tied in. And then we're just going to stroke these back and do one turn in front of the other. And the same with this, I'll probably be two turns. It just depends on the, the fibre of your haggles. So I'm just going to look handy there. Same again, bring your haggle round, force the haggle down into the thread. Catches that in for you. Take a couple of nice tight turns to secure it in. Come in and trim away the excess. Yeah, we're not looking too bad. I'm gonna bring my thread up. Sort of way the length of the, the rear part, the front part of the body. At this point, I'm just gonna come in and just brush that out a wee bit. We'll go back to our chartreuse wire catch that in same again as I did with the body hack or the tail sorry just work my thread down tight up against the mid haggle not on to it just tight up against it the front body you need to some black oh, just gonna be nice this off You could use black dubbing, you could use seals for uh, traditional Irish dubbing there, uh, black SLF, or even a black thread would do. Yeah, catch that in. Then we're going to come around with our floss. Nice straight turn at the mid haggle. And then just overlapping turns of the, the floss up the front body. Catch that in. Then we'll come in and trim away that. Just push your thread out of the way. Come in with your scissors, trim away your floss. Bring up our rib. Three turns again. Like the rear body. To help protect the floss. Hold that around with our thread. Nice tight turns. Bend and bring away the wire. Front haggle, lace swing in orange. So just gonna stroke those back, the fibers on the the feather, come up with two turns, gonna fold the tip back, bring them a thread back up over the tip on the haggle, break that away. Hey, right, see these lace wings, they're robust enough where you can come in with your scissors. But that's the sound when you run your scissors up the stem of the haggle. That's the sound that you should hear. They'll start to fold back a bit for you. And then we're just going to do one turn in front of the other. Same with this, two turns. It's plenty. There. Play this around with my thread. Same again. Always just force the haggle down into the thread. Gets that first lock and turn in. Then a couple of turns to secure. Come in and trim away the excess. Then it wants to go forward, just fold it back. And bring our thread back up against the haggle. If you're over there, take that away. Now, just to finish off, a couple of small jungle cock eyes here. That's in there. All I do is just try and get them leveled up the best I can in my hand. Come in and hold the eyes, stroke the, 
the fibers back and then just offer this up to the hook just use the eye the hook the, the eye of the hook as a divider just offer that up to the hook come in and hold the jungle cock on the hook Get a couple of loose turns see what way we're what way we're sitting and two length this one's just a wee bit longer so I'm just going to put it in just have a wee check just always have a check just to see where we are before we secure it in I'm happy with that so I'm just going to hold the eye take another two turns fold the stems of the jungle cock back bring my thread back up over the stems keeping my thread tight break away the stems and we'll come in and we'll throw in a whip finish now I'm going to use a glue braid floss to, to brighten the head up turn that away glue braid floss number 11 just come in with your glue braid just didn't have a good grip of it there folks and then just work your glue braid floss up over the excess, come in, trim that away, straight in with your whip finishing tool, we favour there, and just throw in a whip finish, put your thread nice and tight, come in, trim away your tan thread, now you can mix that up, you could have the blue tail at the back that's there's lots you can do with the lace wings uh, just to see the thread turns up the head just coming in with a wee drop of super glue you don't want this going into the going into the hackles just on the head and then once that dries I'll come in and put on couple of coats of varnish just to seal up the the super glue more than anything and give you a nice bright shiny head so there you go guys that's the, the lace wing shrimp as I like to call it um, lace wing, the lace wing capes come in many different colours of, of nearly them all there so we'll tie in or a couple of the lace wing shrimp in different colours but that's the wee flags there. So look, tie a few of those up. Try them out. I've never faced it before. So but I'll be facing it this season. Uh, so I will. On the, on the foil system. So tie a few up guys. Hopefully. Then catch you a few fish. As always. Many thanks for taking the time to view the video. And please stay safe. And take lanes.